There are a lot of elements to having a successful match performance, and you have to really break it down stage by stage, step by step. Now, when I step up to a stage, I'll have a range officer behind me who's going to give me a series of commands. Make ready. After he gives me the first command, load and make ready, I'll of course do that. The next command, shoot Stand a ready, by. it's really more of a question. And I use that time to really make sure one last mental check that I have all of my gear ready. If I'm not ready, I'll tell the range officer. But if I am ready, I'll give him a shake of the Stand head by. and I'll get into position. I'll really solidify my stance, feet shoulder width apart, kind of leaning forward a little bit, my momentum, uh, my energy going forward. I'll put my hands down into the position, the start position, so that the only thing that needs to move once I get the command beep is straight to the draw. The start of the stage really dictates your pace throughout the rest of it, so it's always important to get everything in position for a perfect, perfect start. So I've got a little mini stage set up and I'm gonna take you through and break it down and show you what I'm thinking exactly and what my plan of course is for all the action. So right off the start, um, I've got two paper targets available to me. So two shots each, I'm gonna aim for the A zone. So it'll be two, four. I'm gonna move around this corner and with my unloaded firearm, I wanna show you something crucial for the stage. It's really important that when you're having any kind of movement throughout the stage that the finger comes off of the trigger and outside of the trigger guard and that the firearm itself stays pointed downrange in a safe direction. That just helps you to maintain control of the firearm and if there were anything to happen during the stage, if you were to trip, fall, whatever, the finger is outside of the trigger guard and the firearm is always pointed in a safe direction. So I've got two targets available to me right here. The first one's really easy to see. I can spot that right away. The second one is hidden behind the barrel, so I'm gonna have to come around the corner, a couple additional steps to engage that next target. Now I've come up to my third position that's got an MGM propeller target system ahead of me, and so I'm gonna plan my strategy so that I can minimize the movement of the propeller. This is my last position. I've got the MGM Whirly Gig ahead of me. Same concept as the propeller. I want to plan out my target engagement, how I'm gonna hit those individual plates to minimize the movement of the Whirly Gig. Once I finish that, I'll end on the last paper target, kind of a long range shot for a pistol stage. So here it goes, let's go shoot. So I'm shooting single stack division with my 1911 from Colt. So that limits me to 10 rounds in the magazine. So I have to pre-plan where I want to reload during the stage. That way it doesn't take me by surprise. So right off the start, I have four targets, eight rounds, and I'm gonna plan my reload after that eighth round into the next target position. If you are finished, unload and show clear. If you are clear, hammer down and holster. So you can see that there are a lot of elements on how to plan for a USPSA style stage. From pre-planning how you want to get your start position to figuring out where you're going to reload and planning in advance how you want to engage all of the targets. It's super complex, but when it all comes together, it's a great feeling and it's so much fun. And if it doesn't quite come together, well, then you know you need more practice time on the range.